Well, uh, President, uh, Commissioner, you know, Mr. Draghi, I'm always uh, impressed by your totally non-compromising uh, support of the euro, doomed, of course, though we all now know it to be. You're talking about things which aren't the problem. The problem that we have is a flawed banking system, a fractional reserve banking system, where bankers can lend money that they don't have. And if you go back in time to the United States in the 1850s, that was a capital offence. You could hang for that. What we've actually had here is criminal activity by bankers and not a single banker has been sent to prison. This is extraordinary. Billions of pounds have been um, taken away from taxpayers, taken away from depositors, bondholders, and yet not a single banker is in jail. This is a disgrace. This is a disgrace. We really have to use the law of the land, not so much regulation and printing money, and central banks are equally culpable, make no mistake. I'd like to see some central bankers in prison. Let's all blame the retail banks, but it's the central banks where the cancer starts. Politicians, bankers and lackey bureaucrats should be arraigned at an international financial tribunal in The Hague in the same way as war criminals. Madame la Présidente. Madam President, Mr. Bloom has just unloaded his uh, bile against the euro and the central bank. He says that the euro is doomed. Could he tell us why his country, that's not a member of the eurozone, has economic indicators that aren't actually all that brilliant? And why, in the last 10 years, has the UK always had a higher inflation rate than the Eurozone? Is the EC bank jet policy actually as bad as he seems to think? Let me assure you that United Kingdom politicians and central bankers are no less stupid than the people out here or the people in Washington. Believe me, they, uh, they disgust me just as much. They have absolutely no idea and they are bankrupting the United Kingdom just the same way as this organisation is bankrupting uh, Western Europe. Yes, yes, I take your point very well.